We get to the guest book. I don't know why they put the guest book up here. There's a huge cliff off this side. The left side here is less exposed until right there. So I can see it there. Um, I guess I'll go do it. waking up we slept in this parking lot last night um, the Twin Falls parking lot sweet parking lot to sleep in uh, still in Smithers this toque looks like it's gonna pop right off my head you think there's no hair under there but that's all hair you know it is um, I'm gonna get this, this coffee starting to boil over here so I'm gonna get it uh, get it in some some glasses so we can have some, some, some delicious morning uh, beverage here so we are on the Hudson Bay ski hill um, in Smithers and uh, we tried to hike yesterday it was uh, not here but a different hike it was so foggy uh, it was hilarious i'll show you a little a little clip of how foggy it was so that's the worst view of the summer although it's still really nice and beautiful up here and i'm sure it's great when you can see in terms of like probably can see all of the bulkley valley but in terms of what we can uh, see on the ground it's nice but we can only see about 10 meters in, in front of us Anyways, we're gonna go hike to, to Cradle, so we're hiking to Cradle Lake. We're gonna, oh, I kinda gotta use the outhouse. You can get up there. Now this is, this is tough outhouse access. No TP here? No TP. We're gonna hike up to Hudson Bay Mountain and loop back um, down Hudson Bay Mountain back to the T-Bar. This is like a fun little ski hill. Pretty small, but like, kinda super local, old school feel. Super beauty. But yeah, it should be a good one. And we're looking like we've got some blue sky, some cloud moving in, but can't be as bad as yesterday. <laughs> so there's the little ski village down there. Big clouds moving in, so I figured I'd film quick. You can see some of the gorgeous surrounding mountains, some of the snow caps. We don't really know, we don't really know exactly the trail, but we can see the mountain summit. So we're just kind of walking the right direction. I'm figuring this is right, but we're not 100% certain. Just up there, that's Hudson Bay Mountain. That's where we're headed. Looks like there's also a big cloud headed for it. So, it's possible that we get socked in again, but at least we're starting out in the Alpine, which is fabulous. Yeah, this side's really gorgeous. Pretty much already at the summit. No, you can see the tip. Huh? I'm so much happier than yesterday. It makes such a big difference when you can actually see. <laughs> yesterday was brutal. We're dry and we can see and it feels so much better. So here we are at Crater Lake. She's a beauty. Freaking gorgeous. We're debating whether we go up this steep stuff here somehow and loop around or if we take the trail we can see up that way. Gorgeous lake though. Here's the runoff. From, uh, from Crater Lake, a little bit of snow still left down here. And we're going up and we're going up somewhere there, looping around to the summit. Hopefully the clouds will be moved and back down. Getting up close and personal with her. Crater Lake looks real nice. That's an easy, easy walk from, uh, an easy walk from the ski hill there. Shirt's sure great for swimming on a hot day. Gorgeous reflection, amazing. Such, such an easy half hour walk to this lake. It'd be perfect for dragging up a cooler or carrying good food, tents, whatever. It'd be a fun spot to just kind of have a chill camp, hang out in the quiet a little bit because it's super, super easy to get here and it's gorgeous. We're gonna make our way somewhere up this ridge line right here. Walking on some moon rocks, but lots of rock cairns to follow, which is nice. Ah, gorgeous. Hopefully this cloud, it looks like it's moving, will move perfectly away for us when we hit the summit. Looks like someone lost their angry bird's winter sled. Ha, that's awesome. I wanna go sledding. We are almost up to the full summit and done significant part of the elevation for today. And look behind us, a bit of fog. We're back in a cloud. 
The clouds are chasing us. Love us. So we pulled a classic and hiked straight up the rocks and scree. And now we've connected back with the main trail, which hugs along the ridge line there. And I'm guessing the summit's up here in the clouds. So this is the, the full summit rock cairn here. You can't see off the other side. And the real summit somewhere after that hump, somewhere up in the clouds there. So we'll take her nice and slow and hope this, uh, this fog rolls out for us. It'll be gorgeous. Now we're headed up the ridge, approaching the summit here. And uh, it is socked in and it's pretty cool. So that's too bad. I think it's gonna be two days in a row where we get socked, we're totally socked in at a summit. Our, our good weather luck is, uh, is slowly fading here. But we'll, we'll sit up there and I guess we'll have some lunch and cross our fingers and hope it clears. We're coming up to the summit here and we can see a little bit of something, but not much. Quite a bit of snow still up here. Tons of snow holding in the uh, the bowl back here, gorgeous. Just need a good push of wind. So, a little bit of a scramble up the top portion. Nothing too crazy, apparently it gets a little more exciting. And we got a bit longer. So this end part is, uh, is kind of surprising. I thought that was the summit, but it looks like we got a bit more of a ridge walk until we reach the proper summit. So that's interesting. There's a bit of fresh, fresh snowfall and, and ice up here, so we're pretty high. Looks like another little steep section right here. Right, maybe that's the, the top, if not one more, I don't know. There comes Laura, another gentleman. And this is the proper summit. There's a cross here. I'm not sure if it's a memorial. If so, rest in peace. Uh, and then along this ridge here is where you get to the, the guest book that you can sign. Um, I'm going to put the camera down uh, until I'm up over there because it's pretty exposed on the right side here. To get to the guest book, I don't know why they put the guest book up here. There's a huge cliff off this side. The left side here is less exposed until right there. So I can see it there. Um, I guess I'll go do it. This side here is not forgiving whatsoever. So we got some guest books here. I'm gonna sign it. Sign it. Foggy and lovely James plus Laura. There we go. Oh, the people who, uh, the people who just walked down, it was their anniversary. So Laura's got a square head in her shoulders and didn't go to that last portion with me, but I signed it for the both of us. What if it was sunny? If it was sunny, yeah, it's still, still it's a little, it's not too dangerous, just a little eerie and like nerve wracking. Um, and it's a little wet too, yeah. a little slippy. But it took us two hours and 20 minutes up. We're gonna sit here, eat some bagels, hopefully something clears. And uh, it was a perfect hike, lake, we we're already in the Alpine, so we didn't have to, you know, mess with the tree line. And uh, it's gorgeous. Take a seat somewhere. It is just straight down off the other side. You can see the other lads sitting there. Oh man, that's crazy. PB and J for life, baby. Oh, the rush of the cliffside and the rush of PB and J entering my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Breakfast is served. So there's the there's the summit. You can see it a bit better now and the two surrounding summits. We're super high up, we're getting a bit more blue sky. So the clouds are clearing, so I'm gonna climb back to the guest book here. You wanna come up right here, Laura? Yeah. That's pretty safe. Wow, above the clouds. Let's go around. It's not going anywhere.
<laughs> you have to do the arms. <laughs> You're so far away. So the summit was uh, is at 2,500 meters elevation. So she's a pretty high one. And that makes sense. This bowl down here is so cool, but you can't see in it right now. So back along the ridge we go into the end of the fog that way. Um, and around and down and back to the lake. We're on the descent here and uh, we're getting a little lucky and we can see smithers just over the rocks here. The clouds have, have lifted so you can see the whole town kind of tucked right behind there. I figure we keep following this ridge and then turn right around. It's a gorgeous little valley in here. Snow right through it. So we're hiking this thing in a loop fashion. You can't really tell, but when we came up, we came up somewhere around that direction. And now we're going around somewhere in this direction. So not really the best description, but the loop works. It was quite nice to go up some steeper stuff and down something a little bit more mellow. So coming down the, uh, the other side, the, the other route here, we get a nice view of Crater Lake from above, which is super gorgeous right above the clouds. Gee, the view is really good now. I feel lucky we got such a good view Yeah, now. it's amazing. Look, and the mountains, those are so cool. Oh man. It's amazing how quickly the cloud comes and goes. Oh, yeah. We're getting lucky coming down and we can see the, uh, the mountain ranges to the right. A couple of prominent glaciers sticking out. Absolutely killer. You can see without the fog, we came up the, the ridge line there and up and over to the summit on this side. You can also hike to the lake and then hike back where we came from up this ridge line and then continue up along the summit as well. But it's a, an exceptional loop hike if you, uh, if you feel like doing it in a loop and you don't feel like standing in the same spot. So we are back to the uh, the truck here. It was a gorgeous hike. It opened up a bit for us at the end, which was nice. It's about four hours, so definitely beat out yesterday's hike in terms yeah, of no. uh, <laughs> a pleasure for sure. No, it's a great one. It's super, super quick and super rewarding, and the and the, and the top's really fun hiking on that steep stuff. So now we're uh, we're done hiking and we're driving. Now uh, we're driving back towards the uh, the Squamish, Vancouver area over the next two days thanks for taking along on the hike today really appreciate it like uh, comment subscribe and i'll see you next time Woo.